you know, I'm thinking of a story. And God always, the Holy Ghost is very precise and when, when it wants to show you things in the scripture. You know, for the last six years, I know without a doubt that I have been stalked and harassed, tortured and abused, manipulated, and this is not a complaint, but I realize now the relationship that Jesus had when he walked on earth with people and with unclean spirits, evil spirits, and people. You know, in the scripture it said that a crowd, he, he saw that a crowd was following him and he wanted to get away, well, he just wanted to get away for a moment for some peace of mind, even though he was about people and healing people, but he got tired sometimes, he wanted to rest, you know, in, in the physical body, in the earthly body he had and he said to the disciples he said let us go across the lake let us cross the lake because he saw a crowd of people approaching and then in the, in the same setting of that passage it said that the that some wanted some of them wanted to follow him and wanted to know what and wanted to follow him where he had a place go and Jesus responded he said fox have holes and birds have nests but the son of man have no place to lay his head you know I've heard a lot of ministers you know talk about this over my lifetime and then I also have read you know scriptures about passage and it always you know they would always most of the time and even I thought that you know he had he was homeless he had no place to live but now since I have read been invented this passage again and, and what what the experience that I'm having in my life I live in a, a nice place very nice place alone but I've been harassed and stalked and threatened my life has been threatened through technology through this devices these microwave laser weapons devices that people are now using I'm a victim, and I'm a victim of that. And nowhere that I can go and find peace and rest, it is always 24 hours throughout the day, day and night, six years now, consistently, night and day. I've been stalked and harassed, abused, and in nowhere I have tried to go different places to just leave, and they they constantly follow me. So now I understand it wasn't Jesus had you know had a mother, he had brothers. He had family, and he had places that he could have lived with them. But it, it wasn't that he was poor. It was that everywhere he went, he was being threatened. He knew that he was going to be murdered. He knew 
that they were going to kill him for me. And no one was able in the, in the those who were uh, earthly, earthly was not able to protect him. He had, he had no protection from the earthly people. And so, like, like in today, you you know, I think about the authorities, the, like the police. And I have reported this and shared with family. No one, no one, not a single person has been able to protect me or want to protect me or even help me. So I have to, like God, depend on, like Jesus, depend on God through it. I have no place to really rest my head. Even in my own place, they have rigged my apartment with, 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 with everything that I got, got inside of my apartment. They rigged all the electronics, uh, all the appliances, all the sockets, all the air, AC, condition, air conditioning, air conditioner, refrigerator, you know, all the devices, even my body. Somehow, I don't know what they, what kind of devices that they have implanted in my body, but it operates like a, a computer, like like a phone, like a device. They're able to track me no matter where I'm at, no matter where I go. I can always feel the attack from the devices that they're using. And I'm constantly being watched. They also have my whole apartment rigged. You know, and I've, this is no, there's no need to run because I have done that before. I left everything, everything I had in my other apartment when, this first, when I first had this experience six years ago. And I ran away, reported it. I had to go through a whole lot. And, and bottom line, I came to the end of up with my rope where I could find no help. But you know, I saw in the scripture in Matthew that Jesus said, don't be afraid of anyone. He said that everything is that is hidden will be found out and every secret will be known. So in due season, in due time, all of this will be exposed. If only I can just hold on. And that is my goal. That is my desire to endure, to hold out until my change comes. Yes, the word says in Matthew 10, 25 and 26, don't be afraid of anyone. Everything that is hidden will be found out, and every secret will be known. And the beauty out of all of this, though, this has really, this experience has really encouraged me to live holy. And 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 I have to say, whether it was a plot from from the perpetrators or plan from God it all have worked out in my favor when it comes to living a holy and righteous life and it's cleaning me up and I thank God for that I have to say that if it wasn't for this experience I wouldn't want to I wouldn't be where I'm at as far as my relationship with my Heavenly Father. So I'm thankful for that. I am very thankful that 
I'm living a life of, and, tr- and really trying to obey God and live a holy life. Of course, I fall short, but I, I, I'm getting, my spirit is getting stronger and stronger and living for, for the Lord. And I want other family members, I want other people also to, to have this relationship with the Heavenly Father. It is so beautiful. I, I know it's Him that's keeping me through all of this. And He does have a, have a plan. And so, I just have to say that I hope someone gets to hear this message because I don't know if the message that I'm I'm sharing today will ever be heard by anyone that that want to know what I've gone through. But I also know that those who've been stalking me, they know, they hear, they hear when I'm recording now. They they can see me. And um, so the Lord is letting me know that I have a platform. This is my platform. Those who are perpetrating me, those who are stalking me, is to live a holy life before them. And be a witness that I am a true servant of God. And I'm so grateful and thankful that he has revealed that to me, that I have a platform. Even though I want uh, sometimes that pe- the people to recognize that I'm telling the truth through, through YouTube. I, I use YouTube, but again, it's controlled by the stalkers and those who harass harassing me. It's controlled, the YouTube is controlled, so I have no knowledge or insight at all if my message is being heard throughout throughout the public. But, but at the same time, I get to tell my story It's the story of my life. So if anyone should ever go on YouTube under Kia Key, Kia K-E-E-A-K-E-E, Kia Key. That's my YouTube channel. They will learn, you will learn all about what I've gone through and the way that I have experienced this ordeal it's 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 a lonely ride but I know I'm not alone I know God is with me he constantly confirms that but I also know that I have these perpetrators and stalkers that also with me and they live in secret they let me know that they're stalking and watching me, but they won't expose themselves to let other people know that, that they're doing this to me. And I do believe that there's some, that the authorities, that the authorities, that they know, maybe not all of them, but someone in, in the police department know what's happening to me. And I think that there may be some good ones that's watching me too, but I'm not doing nothing that I know of physically to help me. But anyway, the Lord said in Matthew again, Matthew 10, 26, don't be afraid of anyone. Don't be afraid. Everything that is hidden will be found out and every secret will be known. 